Trust me, all of these prompts are generated in GPT-4. I trained the model to understand what is mid-journey and the kind of prompts that mid-journey can create. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use GPT-4 to generate prompts like these. Note that GPT-3 is not great with respect to this. So I trained the GPT-3 model and these are the kind of results I get. While these are okay as a starting point, GPT-4 is way more accurate when it comes to generating precise mid-journey prompts. So in order to get started, there are three steps that you need to do, right? So the first step is to tell the model about basic prompting, right? So I'm going to say as an image GPT, you'll serve as an AI art prompting assistant for the well-known text to image tool mid-journey. And then you give some, give it some more context and then you tell it what prompts are, what are basic prompts, advanced prompt, image prompt, text prompt, prompt text parameters, uh, notes about the prompts, what is grammar in prompts, what is a subject medium environment lighting. Then you talk about basic parameters, chaos, quality seed, everything. And all of this is available on the mid journey uh, website. So just kind of gave the model all the details that it needs to know in order to start building these prompts. And finally, I told if it understood all of this, just say got it. So it went ahead and did that. Next, now that ha now that it has the guide to generate these prompts, we need to tell the model, we need to give model some examples for it to kind of internalize certain structure with respect to this, right? So I've given like 10, 10 odd examples from the mid journey uh, discord channels and kind of trained it for these use cases and you can go ahead and train it for your specific use cases then i asked if it understood how mid journey prompts would prompts work right so it kind of confirmed that it understood and it kind of gave some details with respect to how it can generate these prompts. finally i uh, post the training was done i told it to generate 20 mid journey prompts across different categories like people space imagination food travel anything you can possibly think of. So it went ahead and created really great prompts and I'm going to try it in mid journey to show how some of these look, but it generated 20. And then at this point, you can generate any amount of prompts you want using mid journey. You can give it some context by saying that, okay, maybe generate space prompts or maybe generate animal prompts. And now that it knows how mid journey prompting works, it will generate prompts in order to suit what you need to generate. So let's try this prompt in mid journey and see the kind of output we get. While I head to discord, just a quick request. If you're new to this channel, firstly, consider subscribing to the channel for the best content in generative AI. Second, if you're interested to stay ahead in generative AI, follow me on Twitter and join our discord channel. Yeah, that in mind, let's query our first prompt. So this is the output for our first prompt. We had basically told it to generate a magical light with bioluminescent mushrooms, ethereal floating orbs of light and mythical creatures. And done a decent job with this, right? So you can see uh, glowing mushrooms, footpath, etc. I've also put in the second prompt to see the kind of output we get. The second prompt we said detailed illustration of steampunk inspired mechanical dragon. This one looks great too. What's great about training your model or training your GPT-4 for your own use cases is that now that the model understand how it works, you can actually go ahead and do creative things like telling it to write stories, right? So I've told 10 mid journey prompts on a short story such that if images seen one after the other seems logically a uh, moving story, give it a title and then give 10 mid journey prompts. Kind of went ahead and gave a title of the story, went ahead and generated 10 prompts that if you would look, obviously the, these may need more refinements. So what I've noticed that when I run this and, and the results to this, um, are available in my previous video on Stable Diffusion Excel versus Mid Journey V5. What I noticed is that the protagonist kept changing, which kind of changed the alignment of the overall prompt. So if instead of a young adventurer, you could feed in a more detailed prompt, like say a person with red hair or a person with gray hair, wearing white trousers, etc., etc. Right. So all of that will make it more centered, and you can, you can tell GPT-4 or not order to keep those details in mind. So maintain the integrity of all the prompts. All of that is possible once you have this trained. This is like your own bot to generate prompts after this, right? You can obviously keep feeding more prompts. So at some point, so at some point, I also fed more prompts to the model saying that, okay, these are some more prompts for you to kind of internalize how all of this works. And after this, the prompting got more uh, detailed. So all of this you can keep in mind. Um, and like once you do the proper training of the model, it will generate great prompts for your output. Now note that the memory is transient, meaning that after some time, you may have to retrain the model to give it context. It may forget things after a specific point of time. But I think this is a great guide, especially for shorter run projects where you want to train images on a specific set of samples. You can use this to achieve that, right? Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.